Hello! Welcome to Sackable, the all-in-one solution to building stunning websites with the WordPress block editor. In this video, we will put everything we learned about motion effects and apply it to one of our pages. Now that we've learned the basics of the motion effects feature, let's go ahead and use it in a web page for a store that sells cute bags. This is an example of the site and you will see here the different effects we added to the blocks using motion effects. So in this video, we will show you how to add these entrance and scroll animations and how we can put them all together to create an interactive website. This is the back end of the page. We went ahead and built the page beforehand so that we can keep the focus of this video on using the motion effects feature. So if we have a look here, we have the Hero section, the Features section, the Testimonial section, and finally, the Call to Action section. We should note that as we populate the blocks with the animations, that we will not be able to see its effects on the back end. We will need to preview it in the front end to be able to see it. Now let's start with the hero section of the page. This part of the page is the first thing visitors see when they visit your website. It normally includes the basic information of your site and what it has to offer. What we want to do is add the entrance animations to the contents of the left column block so for the image block on the right column, let's just leave it as it is. Let's navigate to the left column. And for better effects, let's add the motion effect settings to each inner block inside of the whole column. So first, let's select the heading block and navigate to the advanced tab in the inspector where we will see the motion effects panel. In the effect field, select engines animations. This will open up more settings that you can choose from. For this specific block, let's input 200 for the vertical position. This will allow the block to enter from down up once the block comes to view. You can also adjust the animation speed and animation delay here. So let's set the speed to slow and the delay to 0.7 seconds. Now for the text block and button block below, let's set the same settings as we did for the heading block. Okay, great! Now that we've added the motion effects to our hero section, let's see how it looks in the front end. Looks good, doesn't it? You can see the contents of the left column side up once the block comes to view. Now back to the editor. Let's move on to the next section of the page, which is the Features section. In this section, we highlight some bags from our collection with an image and a short description. Let's start with the first column which showcases the Maya bag. As opposed to the Hero section, wherein we applied the effects on the inner blocks, let's add the effects to the whole column this time. Select the parent column block, and navigate to the motion effect settings. Instead of the entrance animations, let's choose the scroll animations this time. What we want is for the block to enter from the left as we scroll through the page and this section comes to view. To achieve that, let's set the translate x value to negative 300. Let's also add a 0.5 opacity so that the block smoothly eases in as you scroll. We can also toggle on the Smooth and Scroll animation setting to allow better scrolling on our page. Now let's select the next column, which showcases the velvet bag. And what we want is for the block to enter from the right this time. To do this, just set the translate x value to 300.
For the last column, the cane bag, let's have it enter from the left, similar to the Maya bag, as though the blocks are entering alternately from opposite directions. Now let's see how it looks in the front end. Looks great! But just like we mentioned in our previous video, you'll notice that as you scroll down and the block exits our view, nothing really happens to it. What we can do is add some exit animations. So back to the editor, let's select the left column again, and if you scroll down the motion effect settings, you'll see the exit animation settings. Let's add a 0.3 opacity so that as you scroll past the block, it will fade out. You'll do the same thing for the remaining columns as well. Now let's check the front end again. There! Now you can see that as you scroll past the block, it fades out slowly. Now let's go to the first call to action section of our page, which urges visitors to view more of our products. For this specific section, we want the blocks to slide up as you scroll through it, somewhat similar to what we did for the hero block. First, let's select the inner left column which contains the text and button, and add scroll animations. Since you want this to slide up, let's set the translate Y value to 150, and set the opacity to 0. As for the exit animations, let's have the block side up and fade out, so let's set the translate Y value to negative 300, and the opacity to 0 as well. For the second column, which contains the image, let's do the same thing. Now, the next section we're working on is the testimonial section where we see what people have to say about our products. For this, let's start with a block title which says, Our customers love us, and put some emphasis on this. To do that, let's select the heading block and add a 1.5 opacity to the scroll animation settings. This way, as you scroll to this section, the block will scale up. Now, for the four testimonial blocks, you'll see that each row contains two columns with the testimonial on each column. Let's have the blocks in each row animate as though they are meeting in the middle as you scroll through it. First, let's select the left block and set the translate x value to negative 300. This will make the block enter the screen from the left side. As for the exit animation, let's set the opacity to 0.2. We'll have the same settings for the block below it. Now for the block on the right, we'll have similar settings, but instead of negative 300 for the translate x, we will make it 300. The same goes for the block below it as well. Let's check how this all plays out in the front end. This is how we wanted it to be. It's playful and eye-catching. For our final section, it's the call to action block which prompts the visitors to subscribe to our newsletter. For this, let's select the inner column block and have the content side up, similar to what we did for the first CTA block. So to do this, we'll do the same thing by setting the translate Y value to 150 and setting the opacity to 0.3 so that as we scroll to this block, the content side up from the bottom. And this is how our page looks like with motion effects. There are different ways you can design your blocks with this feature, and the best part is 
that you can let your imagination run wild with the different possibilities. The nice thing about adding these motion effects to your page is that it takes your site visitors into a journey. The chances of them wanting to keep scrolling is high as these animations are very eye-catching and interactive. This is one way you can build a page using Stackable's motion effects feature. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you need more information regarding Stackable, feel free to join our Facebook community or visit our website. We link them down below.